Hello, my name is Dana Lewis, and I'm the Director of Human Services for the City of Falls Church. I'll be giving the pre budget presentation for today. The Department of Human Services includes Aurora House and Housing and Human Services. In addition to the direct services provided by these units, the Housing and Human Services Department connects community members to services provided under agreements with neighboring jurisdictions. These include the Area Agency on Aging, Arlington County Judicial and Correctional Services, Fairfax Falls Church Community Services Board, Fairfax County Department of Family Services, Fairfax County Health Department, and Fairfax County Office to Prevent and End Homelessness. The overall budget for the Department of Human Services is $4.2 million. Staffing consists of 14.2 full-time equivalent positions plus six temporary staff who work as relief counselors at Aurora House. Aurora House provides residential treatment to adolescent females who are under the formal supervision of the Juvenile Domestic Relations District Court or who are referred through Children's Service Acts programs for children with serious emotional or behavioral issues. The group home has capacity for 12 and serves the cities of Falls Church and Alexandria, as well as Arlington and Fairfax counties. The City of Falls Church administers the program and receives revenue for its operation from participating jurisdictions based on their use. Some trends and issues are that the number of clients continue to change with an increase in cases with mental health needs and a decrease in delinquency cases. Some changes where the center is becoming accredited to become a qualified residential treatment program to provide services for foster care youth and the mental health, health clinic care clin clinician position has increased from half time to full time position. The total expenditures budget is 1.1 million with revenue from grants, contributions and charges for services in the amount of 678,972 for a net of $486,708. Housing and Human Services enhances the lives in the City of Falls Church by offering a range of services, particularly for the city's most vulnerable residents. Services include providing low to moderate income housing, housing counseling, landlord tenant information, emergency financial assistance, subsidized transportation, rent relief for low income elderly and people with disabilities, advocacy and case management. Referrals are given for food, dental care, shelter, and assisted living, among other things. These grant programs provide the work of nonprofits serving city residents. Additionally, staff provide general information and referral services. It is expected that city service residents will continue to need COVID uh, services. Some trends and issues of that are the number of affordable dwelling units has increased from 54 to 81 units with the addition of the Founders Road development. In look, reviewing the median gross rent from the American Housing Survey, survey comparing Falls Church with other Northern Virginia localities in Virginia as a whole, Falls Church has the highest gross rent at $2,044. The percentage of city renters paying greater than 30% of monthly income towards rent has increased from 40.4% to 44.6%. Through public assistance programs, some significant changes in housing and human services include that the city was awarded two grants from the Virginia Housing Amazon Reach Funding Program. The first grant was to establish an affordable home ownership program and extend the covenants for teacher workforce units in the city. The second grant was to create an acquisition strike fund that will target acquisition of approximately four to seven properties in Virginia Village. Each one of these grants was for $3,750,000. The city has also purchased three new Virginia Village quadruplexes in efforts to preserve market rate affordable housing in the city, bringing the total to five. Public assistance programs, Housing and Human Services uses these to connect residents to a variety of services and programs, including those to foster healthy and resilient children, youth, and families, help the elderly, elderly and individuals with disabilities maintain self-sufficiency in the community, assist individuals who are homeless, provide early intervention services for infants and toddlers who have developmental delays, protect the vulnerable from abuse and neglect, help families and individuals become economically self-sufficient, help with medical care and food security, and this is among other things. 
Services are provided to HHS staff through contact tracks with Fairfax County or through grant programs. Budgeted expenditures total 1.6 million. Fees for services will be 6,000 and federal grants will be 468,700 for a total of 1.1 million. The city contracts with the neighboring jurisdictions to provide mandated and non-mandated services. The Fairfax Falls Church Community Services Board provides services for people who have mental illness, substance abuse disorders, and or developmental develop delays. The budget is around $1 million. The Fairfax County Health Department provides public health services to city residents and businesses. The health department has four or five core functions upon which service activities are based. Prevention of epidemic and spread of disease, protecting the public against environmental hazards, promoting and encouraging healthy behaviors, assuring the quality and accessibility of health services, and responding to disasters and assisting communities in recovery. The health department has been leading the community in the efforts to fight the COVID-19 pandemic and mitigate its effects. The budget is 297,000. The city participates in the operation of several regional juvenile court programs and the Northern Virginia Juvenile Detention Center. For these programs, the city pays for its actual use of the service based on a per diem rate or agreed upon formula. Additionally, the city contracts with Arlington County for the full array of services provided for the court services unit. These include intake, probation, and treatment services for juveniles and adults who come before the court. In the past year, the city has had client usage in the facility, which it will impact the FY23 budget. The budget for these programs is $599,477,000. Finally, the city supports the Juvenile and Domestic Relations District Court. The city receives numerous services from various offices of the court system operated by Arlington County and pays a proportional share of the county's cost based on population. The budget is $6,667. Thank you for the today's presentation.